Dr. Kozak. Thank you for uh, joining us today. And by the way, the reason you and I are talking, in addition to the magic of Skype and the Internet, is I did see this new product uh, from Escalat called the Arcadius L. And I wasn't sure I was reading this correctly, but it appears as though this is a peak implant with uh, a coating. And it has a number of other unusual uh, attributes that caught my attention. And I understand you have some experience with the product. So I, I thought I'd give you a call in one of my favorite places, by the way, in the United States, and uh, ask you what you know about the Arcadius and uh, uh, what makes it uh, special. Well, thank you, Robin. It's good to talk to you as well. Um, the Arcadius is a very exciting new implant. Uh, it represents a four-screw divergent lumbar standalone inner body fusion device that's uh, application of plasma pore, which is a plasma sprayed titanium surface onto the surface of the peak. It's a very rigid uh, interface. And is this, I had never heard of a peak implant with a, a coating. Is this uh, new or has anyone else done this that you know of? A totally unique and novel uh, process that was created to attach a porous titanium surface to the peak. Uh, it's extremely strong. Uh, and is actually the interface between the peak and the titanium powdered surface is actually stronger than peak itself. That is, that is so amazing. You mentioned divergent uh, design. What's the importance of a divergent design uh, for this kind of implant? Well, I think there's a lot of literature out there that's compared the three-screw convergent design to the four-screw divergent design. Uh, some of the three-screw convergent designs are easier to implant, but it's very clear when you study the biomechanical papers that are available that the four-screw divergent design is far superior from a biomechanical perspective. And, and of course, if anyone looking at this video would like more information, I'm sure they can contact Escalap. But in your experience, uh, how how often have you used this product and How's it been working out for you so far? Well, the, the release of the Arcadius uh, product was just at North American Spine Society a couple of weeks ago. Uh, That's I new. have, yes, sir, it's brand new. Now I've utilized the uncoated version for about a year, uh, and but the use of the coated version has just hit the market here recently. One last question, and you know, surgeons always mention it to me with the instrumentation and these other elements. How is the technique and then how is the operational uh, complexity, if you will, of the product? Well, we're real confident that this is one of the most easy implants to utilize in the operating room. We spent a lot of time optimizing the instrumentation. Uh, some of the angles on uh, utilized with the insertion of these implants can be difficult with temperamental screwdrivers and a lot of frustration, but uh, I think everybody that uses this says the same thing as that was really easy. So it's just optimized instrumentation. Where I think it's uh, it's it's very easy to input to uh, implant. Well, it's just like this interview, also very easy. So, Dr. Kozak, it's really a pleasure to talk to you, and, and thanks for letting us interrupt your day. Uh, this is a very interesting product. I'm uh, I'm delighted that we're able to talk to you about it today. Have well, a great rest of the day. I appreciate the opportunity, Robin. Okay. Take good care.